Okay, today we're looking at a call in Dormitable Lions. Now we start with the song. He reigns, yes, he reigns. He reigns, yes, he reigns. He reigns, yes, he reigns. He's the awesome God. Uh, I know if you look at this particular passage in Job, chapter 41, verse 12, it conjures Jurassic Park dinosaurs and other kinds of sea monsters. His mighty power, his graceful proportions, who can remove his outer coat, who can approach him with a double bridle, who can open the doors of his face with his terrible teeth all around, the rows of scales are his pride, shut up tightly as with a seal. One is so near another that no air can come between them. They are joined one to another. They stick together and cannot be parted. His sneezing flash forth light, and his eyes are like the high beats of the morning. Out of his mouth go burning lights. Sparks of fire shoot out. Smoke goes out of his nostrils. I know people have tried to question this. Of course, the scripture here is talking about Leviathan. And people have tried to say which kind of animal is this. You know, so there are lots of speculations. Some are thinking his whales, his orca, you know, uh, crocodiles, alligator, and all of that. Uh, and that's why I actually titled this particular podcast, The Double Lion. In Double Lion, of course, is the Cameroon national team. At the height of his power, it was doing very well. And in terms of the defense, you know, it was very good in terms of the defense. And that's why you have all kinds of uh, names, song, eto, and so on and so forth. So Leviathan was an animal that could not actually be overcome. Uh, and so if you look at, you know, some of these huge creatures that, you know, we come across, you see some pythons go to great length, uh, alligators, crocodiles grow to 18 feet and more. <laughs> And some of these can actually be mind-boggling. But there's also a scripture in verse 11 of the same job, everything under heaven is mine. So no matter how great and how huge the animal or the sea monster is, you know, God is still the one that is in control. No matter the size, God is still the one that is in charge because the, everything under heaven belongs to God. That is the God that we serve. So we can put our complete and implicit confidence in him to continually give us a victory. 